Welcome to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment program. Group projects were never this much fun. Here are your hosts, Ed and Phoebe. So away we go for Randy and Reno. Oh yeah, we're going to share with you our sexy swinger experience and give you some pointers on communication and expectations. You don't want to slip out for this one. We met this sexy, flirty couple at New Year's, stayed in touch, and decided to go visit them. But before this all came about, there was some communication, obviously. Communication. You gotta keep the fire burning, but not so much that you burn it out. Exactly. People have lives... They have their own life, and you're not in their life. You're sharing a little bit. Yeah. You're or a, a lot. A dessert in their life. <laughs> so this couple, we we kicked them back and forth, as I, as I mentioned. We met them at New Year's. I had a great time. We stayed in touch. We're communicating through kick. And they happened to mention that we should come up for the weekend. So, you know, we weren't really sure they were serious. We figured, oh, they're just high on the whole New Year's Eve experience. We'll just kind of let them come down from that a little bit. And a couple weeks go by. Sure enough, they threw out the bait and we bit. Some swingers' strategy is to not chase, which I think is good solid advice and while we applied this strategy i really liked ed's response when i asked are we chasing and i said sometimes you gotta go where the fish are (laughs) and that's when we decided to go so it's really important to have some communication in terms of setting up details maybe a couple picks here and there just to spice things up, Mm -hmm. give you a little taste of of what's coming, but not go too much into it and and don't build it up so much that your anticipation kind of outpaces what the potential is. Exactly. So a couple videos and a couple pictures later. Mm -hmm. The week progresses. It gets a little closer to Friday. And we noticed the communication got a little thin. And I'm just talking basic communication like, hey, how's your day? Thinking about you guys. There are some simple one-liners. And so we got a little nervous thinking, gosh, the hotel's already booked. We can't cancel. I've taken time off work. So we said we better have a backup plan. Yes. Because... Sometimes things happen. And when sometimes plans go... Tits up. There's always a strip club. Especially in Reno. (laughs) We're not gamblers, but we do like titties. (laughs) Absolutely. So we left work and drove up to Reno and... Dropped them another line just to see if they were excited to see us. You know, we're get, we're getting there. We're mm-hmm. on the way. Mm-hmm. Turns out they both just had crappy weeks at work. Super hectic and were just beat. Yeah. But they let us know that they were very excited to see us, which was great. Yes. So Fears alleviated. Yes. So we're sitting there at a restaurant right there in downtown Reno. Great little place called The Depot. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Really good food. Great cocktails. Oh, yeah. And they gave us the play-by-play in terms of where they were, how soon they were going to get there, taking care of some vanilla stuff at home to make Mm -hmm. sure that that was all settled in. And then 
shortly thereafter, their bub- bubbly selves came bouncing into the room yeah. and uh, hugs and kisses for everybody. And we sat down and, and had a little dinner with them. And it was so great. so nice to see them. Oh, yeah. It was the, the, a great end of the week for us and I think for them too. Yeah. So we made plans for the evening because it was still pretty early and uh, decided what our original plan was. So we had a backup plan, but the primary plan was to go <laughs> hit PK there in Reno. PK is short for Poker Nights, which is a nice oh, club. It's an actual swing club there in Reno. And tell them how they spell it. It's Poke Her Nights. <laughs> it's fun. We've been it's there fun twice now and we've had a good time both times but um, it's like any establishment it's kind of hit or miss during the week depending on what people's schedules are like because it's always there it's not like an event Mm -hmm. it tends to be just like a nightclub where you kind of have good nights and lesser attended nights So we go, we get there, we throw our coats in the closet, we get some drinks, and we head up to the hot tub. And the hot tub is actually upstairs, which is amazing. I don't know how they did this, but it's the size of a small pool. It's massive. It's got to be like a 12-person hot tub. 12? It's like a 50-person hot tub. It's not that big. Okay, 30. It's Honey, big. it's not that big. Oh, yeah, it's big. It's huge. It's really big. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. It was so fun. They had lockers to put all your stuff, fresh towels, all folded, nice and neat. Very, very nice. Very, very clean. So we all got in the hot tub and splashed around. And the tip was, and the reason why we got in the hot oh, tub this night was... Don't say you're going to say the reason why you go, no, don't say that. Okay, I won't say it. Don't say that. But anyway, we were wander- we were floating around in the hot tub, and everybody started to get a little frisky. <laughs> so we decided to get out of the hot tub and get into some trouble. Yes. Went into one of the rooms upstairs and had a, a good, really time. good time. Sometimes Real good time. the door was open. Sometimes the door was closed. Got a couple invites from the neighbors to come join yes, them. Yes, we did. <laughs> we didn't take them up on it, but uh, it was... You, you in particular, got the invite. Yeah, that's true. The guy, true. In, said, the husband, invited you. My wife, really. Oh, I think she's, he said she really likes your cock. Yeah. I think she said he yeah, did he, say that. He said you. she would she, really like your... Yeah. yeah. We didn't take him up on the offer. I had plenty on my plate. Yes. I didn't need. Uh, <laughs> I didn't need to extend the myself. <laughs> my eyes. I kept my my appetites contained. <laughs> we had that was a really fun. good time. It was such a such a good time. Oh yeah, it was great. Um, lots of fun yeah. for a while, and then we decided. It was getting late. Yeah. We closed the club out. Basically, there were only oh, that's right. f- four people left by the yeah. time we left the room. Yeah, we did. And that was perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't even know or care because we were in our own little bubble. bubble. Yeah, so we ended the evening. They dropped us off at our hotel because we got a hotel. And initially they wanted us to stay both nights with them, but it's too much pressure on people to have someone in your space for two nights. And we weren't sure how it was all going to play out. So as we said earlier, we had a hotel, so we went back to the hotel, fucked and slept and got up the next day and did you some You glossed shopping. over that one real quick. You oh, just like, fucking? we fucked and then slept. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we needed a little. I was trying to get to the shopping. <laughs> oh, well, you know. I know where your mind is. <laughs> and now you know where mine is. <laughs> it, it was great. Yeah. And, you know, it was a, the end of a long day. We, you know, we'd had a long drive and 
it was it was nice. It turned out much better than what we had hoped it was going right. to be. And at the end of the night, they said, we can't wait to see you again tomorrow. We're going to be you know, busting our ass basically to clean the place and make it all ready for you. We'd love for you to come and stay. We've got the pullout couch, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And so we were like, oh, because we didn't have expectations to stay another night because we really weren't sure. Right. You know, things can change. So that leads us to expectations. Yeah. It's tricky because you need to have some degree of expectations when you're planning stuff. Like you kind of want it to want it. Right. Um, and we've been guilty of saying this before where have no expectations when you're swinging. And, you know, it, we admit, we have said this in the past, but after this weekend, we think we kind of figured out some of the intricacies of expectations. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have any, you might be sending the wrong vibe. You might seem off-putting and that you don't care or you're not interested. So while it's important not to to over invest you still have to have some sort of skin in the game you gotta you gotta make sure that you've got that line the tug on the line on that fishing line so the trick is to have some but don't like hinge your happiness your entire evening or weekend on this grand success that you've built up in your head mm -hmm. it, it, it never it no. never lives up to that level of expectation. Mm -hmm. It's okay to want something, like I said, but it, it's the level of weight or importance that you put on it. And you, you can't let that outweigh the experience you're going to have with your own partner, which is going and having a good time. That's the critical thing. And so it's good to not set yourself up for failure, but remember, you've always got at least one backup plan. It's better to have two, one right. for the evening and one for you and your partner. Right. And, you know, your partner is the cake and the icing is really just swinging with a little decoration on top. Yeah. So we alleviated some of the expectations by removing some pressure off of our new swinger friends. And they were super gung ho to have us stay two nights when we first started making plans, but we gave them a little bit of a relief from that so that yeah. the expectations weren't so intense. Right, right. And it worked out because they weren't ready to have us over that night anyway. And the second night worked great. So we shopped, we did our thing during the day, and they called us up and said hey come on over we're ready we've got the house clean <laughs> yeah they did a spring cleaning and oh yeah it was awesome got it all ready for us yeah it was super sweet it's pretty tough to have somebody living in your space and entertaining them all weekend long and yeah. just like we reconnected on friday night mm -hmm. it's important as a couple to be able to reconnect so after New Year's and the experience we had with them then, we knew that they needed some couples time to reconnect. So Friday night, PK, they get to go back to their place. We went back to our place. Everybody got to reconnect yeah, and recharge for round two. Recharge, yes. So Fle flexibility. Yeah. Also very important. We were very flexible. They were very flexible. And knowing or having that awareness that things are going to change and have your backup plan like ed said and that if everything falls to pieces with the other couple then you know you've got some fun plans ahead of you with just the two of you right so we were in a uh, situation I don't, I don't remember where it was but something 
we're supposed to meet someone or go somewhere, something fun was supposed to happen and it all went south and we just decided to Roll throw on it. the positive attitude and we ended up pulling in somebody else. It must have been an event or something. Something like that happened at New Year's last year where we'd had plans and the, there was one couple who was real eager for us to connect with them, but we weren't sure how that was going to go. And we'd lost their room for a while. Didn't know which room number they were in. We ended up in another party. And it was great because we'd gotten this second invitation. It was a lot of fun. Um, we're still talking about that experience. That was great. Yeah. By the end of the evening, after that, after party we'd gotten a text from them or a message from them and they'd given us their room number again and we did end up meeting up with them oh that's right now I remember. So it's always I know. good to have backup plans and a positive attitude yeah <laughs> we did our day shopping we got uh, over to their place we watched a movie we kind of relaxed and then we started um getting ready for our second evening because we knew we were going to stay the second night. We were both a little tired oh, yeah. from the first night, right. but we said, you know, let's, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. So we got there early. It was Mardi Gras night, yes. which was pretty fun. It was fun. We got some beads. I didn't get the beads I wanted though. No, you did too much pressure. Yeah. I had to show my boobies, which I'm fine showing my boobies, but there was like, 30 people standing in the lobby and I just walked in the door. Right. And I would have to unassemble my entire outfit just to whip my boobs out and then I'd have to put it all back together. And I, I know. Like, I know. This is way too much work. So I just decided to whip my dick out in the bar and got beads <laughs> for her. Because the two <laughs> ladies who were running the bar were happy with that exchange of goods. <laughs> Yay! And so we got some fun beads. But the crowd wasn't quite the same as the first night. There were more people there, and it just it just didn't have the right vibe for us. And we decided that we had more than enough company for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we all headed back to their place. Yeah, it's almost like it was too distracting that evening. We just were, like, super giddy and just wanted to go back and fuck at their house yeah i think we really wanted to try out their bed yeah they have a really great bedroom it's fabulous oh yeah it's very sensual and sexy and they've got tried dungeon-esque and... yes mm -hmm. yep that was it yeah i think that's that, really that what it came down it. to is like <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm sure it had nothing to do with the two of them but no no not at all <laughs> Not that they weren't oh, exciting and fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we wanted them all to ourselves. So. We did have them yep. all mm -hmm. to ourselves. For a very long evening again. Yeah. Oh, my God. We were so tired at the end of it, but it was. So much fun. We tried a bunch of different stuff. Oh, and we were all had a great bedroom. time. And the couch. And, Yeah toys and without toys and i think there was a costume change in there and oh my there goodness. were some some watching and some participating oh and yeah the guys were watching yeah the missus have some fun for a little while that mm. was fun that was quite the show mm -hmm. we did enjoy yeah got a little relaxing uh there or a little uh, reprieve with some eye candy mm-hmm it was juicy. So, you know, be flexible. The key is to be flexible with intent. Make sure your message is clear and not wishy-washy. I still want to meet up and have sex with you. Is the message that you want to give. The key is to be flexible with intent. Make sure your message is clear and not wishy-washy. You want to be sure to communicate that, yeah, I'm interested. I want to have sex with you. 
but be aware it's, you know, it's a little bit of a balance. In summary, have good, honest communication that shows intent with flexibility. Have expectations. Just don't let them run your entire evening, event, or weekend. Remember, this is the opportunity for an experience with your partner, however it may develop. Love one another and love often. Mm-hmm. Before you turn off our podcast to take care of all the vanilla things pulling you away, please reach out and give us a review. I am the first to admit that it is much easier to give a five-star rating, which we appreciate. But if you could take 43 seconds to type a review, we would love it. If you want to share a personal story, ask us questions, or share your comments, please contact us at swingeruniversity at gmail.com or tweet us at swingerupodcast. podcast.